Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by Nick Sai of Gross Point North Football. How's it going, bud? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. So, you know, I know the uh, uh, the season came to an end uh, last week, but uh, just, uh, you know, just how exciting is it, um, you know, just, you know, after a really, really good season, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but still a pretty good year for you guys. Uh, yeah, I think I think our team is very, very happy with how, how we ended up. I know it was a hard loss against South, hard loss against King, but I mean, can't, can't really complain about uh first uh, playoff win in about a decade and another winning season and then back to back Mac Gold champs can't be too upset about that. Yeah, just to come away with, you know, with a division title and, you know, just where this program was when you guys when you guys came in, you know, and obviously it's your leave. You guys are leaving it better than you uh, than you it's all they always say like to leave something better than you found it um absolutely what was uh what's it like to kind of just all leave your mark on uh on this program i mean yeah when i first got there it was kind of like we, we had a pretty rough program and then i mean as, as the as my years went on here i think we i think we i think we realized we actually had something like our freshman and so, like sophomore year but when we saw what we were doing at the jv level we were like all right when we get to varsity we're definitely going to change this whole program around and so just it, it's really exciting to see that what we all thought was going to happen actually did end up happening. So just like, you know, I know you're you're on offense, you're you're a receiver. What's that like for you and, and to work with all those guys, to work with Ryan? What was uh, what was that like just to kind of fit in this this whole offense of the thing? Well, it's it's kind of funny. It was I wasn't ever going into the season. I was I was supposed to play safety. I was supposed to be one of our start, like starting safeties. And I didn't. It was I was probably going to be more of like a rotational player if we needed on offense. And then first two weeks happened, and I was getting. A, I was. I just completely stopped on uh, defense and completely switched to offense. So, getting to work more with the offensive guys who I'm personally closer with just made the sport all, all a lot more enjoyable. And getting to actually score touchdowns is a lot of fun too. Yeah. Um, what was it like just going on offense and knowing that you you may have not would have been there and stuff. It was it was nerve wracking at first, and then when I when I started to get my um, like into the swing of it after our mod game, I got my first grab, and I was getting more comfortable with it. And I was like, "It's a lot more fun than defense. I'm not I'm I'm not really cut out to go hit the huge linebacker. So getting able to run the ball, I mean, catch the ball, just run away from the defenders is a lot more fun." Yeah, um, you know, just kind of going into you know this year, what what's uh, what was the best moment from your from your football career? You think? My football, I feel like the best moment of my football career would probably be, I've had a lot. It's, it's kind of, it, I, I can't really, I don't know. I mean, I probably like my JV year, my first ever touchdown was probably really exciting. But at the, at the varsity level, my first ever like varsity touchdown is probably like my greatest football memory. Yeah. Uh, what's it like scoring a touchdown for people that just don't know? It's kind of like, a, it's kind of like, I always before the game, me and my friends were always like plan on, oh, what's our touchdown gonna, dance going to be this week? And you think you're going to do it when you actually get it, but when when you get it, you kind of just like your mind kind of goes blank, and you're just it's just a bunch of excitement. It's just you don't really. It's for me at least, I don't really know how to react. So I, it's just a whole lot of excitement, really. Yeah. Um. So knowing that you know really that you know your high school football career is um you know is coming to an end, just kind of just kind of talk about like, you know, what is this, uh, what's this program kind of really meant to you? Uh, I'll say I've never had this much fun playing football in my life. It, it didn't, I mean, I don't, it didn't really matter if we win or lost. I was, I mean, one, I mean, we lost by like 40 points to our rival, like, like multiple times in my high school career, but every single time it was just fun. Still, just me and my friends, we always, we still just made it fun. It's just the whole point of me playing football was to have fun with it and play with my friends and uh, that's really I, – I, that's what I truly got out of this. No matter what the outcome was, I always had fun with this program. The coaches yeah. really made it very enjoyable for me. Yeah. And my, and my teammates as well. What, what's, uh, what's, what's football mean to you, buddy? Football is really just a great distraction for many things for me. I've played – this is my 10th year playing football. We'll just tackle football long. I've been playing uh, flag football and, like, flag and tackle my whole life. And so football's always just made all of my friendships for me, to be honest. Like I have a lot of friends that aren't that aren't from football, but the 90% of my great friends are just from football alone. So I think I, I football is just basically everything for me. Yeah. 
Um, you know, what are your, you know, um, what other sports do you play? I don't play any other sports person. I'm just, I just, I just play football. Yeah. So just, uh, you know, just to kind of call it, um, you know, you know, and, uh, do you, are you going to continue football or, or what is next for you? Uh, I'm not going to continue football, but I'm going to go into sports broadcasting. So hopefully I'm going to be doing broad, like uh, broadcasting for football games. So football will always remain a huge part of my life, regardless of that I'm not, I'm not going to be playing it anymore, but I'll still hopefully be doing play by plays for it in the near future. Yeah. Um, what got you? Okay. I must ask what, what got you into broadcasting? I always, as a kid, I'd be playing, I'd be playing Xbox and I would just, I would mute the TV and I'd do my, I'd be playing and I'd be broadcasting it myself. And I, it's just, and then I would like, my parents would overhear me and they'd be like, you should maybe pursue something like that. Or like my friends would be like, back in the day, they'd be like, I feel you'd be, a, you'd be a pretty good broadcaster. And I never really thought about it. And then I started doing my school, uh, my school uh, announcements in middle school and then on into high school. And it was just, it always just clicked with me. I just love, I love, I love talking really. Absolutely. Um, what are you going to miss about playing, playing football? Oh, see my, see my friends all the time. I, like just it, being out there, it's just when it's just, it, there's nothing like it when it's you're, you're playing in a hard game with your friends and uh, it just, it's just, it's just a huge bonding experience with them. It's just, it's just nothing like it, nothing like it at all. For sure. Um, all right. Let's get to know you a little bit, Nick. How about that? All right. Okay. So um, um, who's like the player you grew up watching? Well, it's like, who's your favorite player growing up? Growing up, it's it's it, I I I guarantee you never heard this before. Out of absolutely nowhere, I started playing uh, Madden twelve when I was like I don't even know how old I was, and I was mm-hmm. clicking through other teams. I was like, I know the Lions. Let me see if I know any other teams. And I saw the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, okay. and I was like, Wow, these guys these jerseys are sick. So I started using them in like the play. You you ever played Madden before? Yeah. So like the play now version, I just clicked on them. I was just playing against the the computer, and I just like for some reason just love Josh Freeman. He's my first ever football jersey. Just absolutely love Josh Freeman. Oh my goodness! Absolutely oh, terrible. I haven't heard that I name in a while. Him. Nope. For some reason, I absolutely love Josh Freeman. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, on that note, what is your uh, favorite? Um, uh, what's your go-to place for food? Go-to place for food? Yeah. Uh, with a lot of left field as well. I'm a big Arby's guy. I love the I love the mm-hmm. Arby's roast beef sandwiches, some mozzarella sticks, curly fries. Absolutely. Man, oh man, that that, that hits different. Oh, um, it does. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and also, what is uh, what's something that people don't really? Uh, what would people something that people would never guess about you? Um, that's a hard question. I got to think about that real quick. Um. All right, it's, it's kind of got me stumped there. The doozy. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm a, I'm a pretty open guy. So I feel like every, everything that's actually true to who I am, everybody knows that from me. I'm not really a secretive guy. I don't really hide anything about myself. So like everyone mostly knows me as more of an outgoing person, a pretty, uh, like hyper person. That's kind of, that's how I would describe myself. So I, I don't really think people don't know much about me. All right. All right, Nick, thank you so much for the time. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Absolutely. Have a good one.